Hello there. Thanks for clicking on the video. I'm out today with Tink. We just stopped for some lunch. We're um, we're heading in there in a minute. We're here for a couple of days. We're going to build a shelter of some description. And generally enjoy some camp life. It's a nice day today, beautiful day today. But the forecast is for rain in the night and possibly showers tomorrow, so uh, need something waterproof. Now I didn't bring a uh, sleep mat today because I knew I was going to come and find some fir trees. So we're going to have a go at building a, building a bed out of the uh, boughs, one for me and one for Tink. Yeah, let's try and get ourselves up off the ground because if the rain does come in those forests the, the ground can be a bit wet so we need to need to build ourselves up a little bit if we can. But yeah, it's nice today. It feels very spring-like. Also, Tink's got a new bag. It's like a saddle bags for her, so she's carrying her own food and uh, a couple of other bits. Sits on, goes over her head. Something like that. Some clips under here. Some clips under here. Yeah? She's not quite sure what to make of it at the moment. Right, are you ready? Come on in. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. There's a good girl. Well done. Yeah. Come on, Gavin, come on. Well, I think just back in here could be the spot. Not 100%. But um, we'll start clearing it away and having a look at it. In here, where I'm thinking the building is, you know, it's quite spongy. Take off some of these limbs. Maybe just put a kind of a tripod going back into there and then run the tarp over it. But we'll see, we'll, uh, we'll make a start and see if it suits. Try and use uh, dead wood where I can. This one's a lot. A lot of the deadfall that's around here is really rotten, um, but this one's pretty firm. It's not long fallen over. It's still still green on the top there. So I'm going to use the top as my bed, and these bits. Hopefully, I can get enough to do my uh, kind of tripod thing. But I'm going to cut it up and drag it back. Similar length. No. This piece as well.
I found a long piece of dead birch which might do for the centre pole and added bonus is it's got tinder on it so if it does rain I've got dry tinder under the shelter we'll see about this Tie these two together. hollow just back there. Just want to jam this piece in. What do you think? Good girl. So what's next? I'm going to get a tarp over it. But I might put some boughs in first. Although I think maybe getting the tarp on is probably more sensible. Huh. Yeah. Let's do that. I wonder if I can higher the back end up a little bit, just so it doesn't go right down to a to the floor. I know I wish it in that hollow. Don't know. I'm gonna put the tarp on and see what it looks like first.
going to try just running this down a piece of wood just roughly attach them See, see how it holds up like that. Not too bad. Tie these off properly. Well, I think that's about there. It feels reasonably secure. I think it's big enough. Oh yeah, bit of, bit of a kiss. Um, it's a little bit open at the front, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll put our beds tucked in right at the back, and, uh, and then we can have the, this front bit just for sitting. Yeah, it will be good. I'm getting a clean. So you give me a clean. Right, I'm going to make a bed. That's probably next on the list. two piles have sort of smaller pieces in that pile and, and these ones are a bit twiggy so I'm going to uh, kind of herring bone these ones so the furry bits are on the inside overlapping and the hokey bits are on the outside and, uh, and then just sprinkle them other ones on top but we'll see we'll see what's here I'm going to build with this bit and have a look, see how, see how thick it is. I might have to go and get some more, but uh, we'll see. Tink's having a whale of a time. She's darting about all over the place. She keeps catching things sent, and uh, she's wandering around with her nose to the ground. I keep looking up and she's gone, but she's not far. She's just doing circles of our little perimeter that she's created. Pardon me. Right, let's make a start.
you're going to need more. So I, I want to make it kind of triangle. I was, I was going to make two beds, but I think I'll just make one, almost the shape of the t shelter, out to about here, so that we can just share it, you know. Because that's probably what Tink would prefer. need more. probably crumple overnight so I might have to add some more onto it tomorrow but uh, it'll do for tonight Whew. all right I'm gonna think about a fire pit just getting it ready because there's rain due tomorrow I think I'm gonna get a little wood pile and just put it here underneath so that I've got dry wood for tomorrow and then the stuff for tonight I'll, I'll just leave outside. I just want enough so that if it does rain tomorrow I've got something to get it going with. Yeah, I'm going to dig away some of this moss. I wonder if I can use some of this moss in my bed as well because it's pretty dry. I've been kneeling on it my knees aren't wet. So um, I'll have a look. I'll dig some of it out, see what it looks like. at the back because there's a little hole I'm just going to put it there to fill the hole in. I'm going to dig down right to the clay because that's the safe thing to do because in these forests you know even the roots are a fire risk so you've got to make the effort and 
dig yourself a, a decent hole for the fire to go in. It's only going to be a small fire, but the hole needs to be bigger than the fire. We're right under the, uh, you know, forest floor, and we're into the into the actual soil. Which in these parts is clay. hoping this would be over the fire I'd just be able to hang a pot off there <sighs> I'm gonna have a little rest and then get on with some wood prep I've had this shovel for probably two years and uh, digging through clay disagreed with it So I've gathered up some uh, pine, fir tree type stuff, but I want something that's going to burn a little bit longer. And I found here some, there's just a few birch trees dotted about, and there's a little pile here of deadfall. So I'm just going to take bits of this that are off the ground. Some of it's sticking in the ground and a bit wet, but. Now this bit is relatively dry. I wonder if I can just take off a chunk of it and drag it back just so I've got a source of something that's not pine. I suppose if it's a little bit damp, it's not going to hurt. Thank you. 
in the hole. I've got to figure out how to light a fire. I've been thinking about it. Um, I've got some char cloth and juke quat twine and stuff, but I might use my house. As soon as it's here. Those planes. Every time I turn the camera on, one comes over. As I said earlier, this is... Um, I guess it's near to... Gatwick Airport in, um, in the south of England. I don't know, it's not, I mean, it's not super close to Gatwick, but we appear to be right on the flight path. There's no, there's no people or houses for a long way, but aeroplanes seem to be a constant. So, uh, yeah, kind of everything. Uh, Yeah, might as well use my house. That's what I'm saying. Got little fluffy bits, but I just wonder if I can just cut a piece. my stuff sack for the um, tarp just to work on so that I don't I don't lose what I'm getting so these bits are quite dry I'm not sure how to peel them off
that's ready for later. Also, just going to think about a pot hanger. Just going to make a little notch in the top of this. Just hang a bit of paracord down and then I can get a stick of some description and hang my pot. doesn't quite reach. So if I just cut a, a little V in the end. I mean that, that can sit over the end. That's almost over the middle of the fire. It's okay. I'm not too close to the fire. And if I need to adjust it, I can just wrap this around, put it up higher. So find a stick to use. Okay, so I've got a stick that's relatively pot hanger like. Gonna cut can't remember what they call this. Not a notch, I can't remember. kind of straight on the top edge where it hangs off the string and then comes in at an angle from that side. That was explained really badly. Put it up there, out the way, wrap this up. Out the way as well. Jubbly. I give it 10 15 minutes and then might light myself a fire and start dinner. a bit longer than 10-15 minutes I've just been having a bit of a bit of a doze with my eyes shut for a few minutes and uh, yeah 
actually getting hungry now, so I'm getting a bit chilly. So I'm gonna get the fire going. So I've got a mixture of fresh and uh, what they sort of the ration pack type things. I'll save them for tomorrow, the ration pack jobbies. In the fresh food department. We've got a little steak, which is still frozen, so I'm just gonna put that there. Bit of sweet potato. I've got a jacket potato. I've got some bacon for the morning. I've got some frozen chicken wings for lunch tomorrow. We'll put all this away. So tonight I'm just going to have steak and sweet potato, which I had last time I went out, and uh, it turned out to be really tasty. of the fire for now just to start it off and the steak I put them sticks in the ground just put them up there on an angle we might defrost a little bit a little grill with me I think I'll have a bit been asleep for a little while. I think I was nearly asleep. But, uh, yeah, the bed's comfy. Let's have a look at what's in Tink's bag. We've got a bowl. I got this bag off Amazon. It's uh, Easy Dog. That's what its name is. Probably all she needs for now. She's got her coat in there, a couple of tins of dog food. She's got some biscuits for her breakfast. Okay, sweetheart. What have we got today? Chicken and vegetables, Tink. Chicken and vegetables.
special grill. so eager so yeah she's having dog food followed by steak I think it's one big steak peaceful here now. The aeroplane seemed to have died down. There was uh, there's a few farms dotted around outside of this forest and um, I could hear farming machinery earlier but uh, I think everybody's gone home for their tea now so it's just us and the birds. Give this a try. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay, steak must be there. Just let that rest for a few minutes. Let's get this fire going again. I think you can have some steak. If you haven't had sweet potato done in the fire, I can recommend it. I've had it the last two times I've been out. It's really good. No, 
got you. <laughs> oh. Scraping my knife on this wire. Okay. Dinner was very nice. Got a second beer. Fire's all stoked up. That's it. I'm just going to settle in now. Make myself a hot drink in a little while. I think it's gone wandering off. It's not bad under here, it's pretty nice. Come on. Here she comes. Hello, steak breath. Sit down. Tink hasn't been out for a couple of times and so she's making the most of it. Don't you go. Not much else to do tonight, really. Just uh, passing time. about bedtime. Quite glad I bought the uh, military sleeping bag now. It's worth the carry. It's been a nice evening. And I'll see you in the morning.
Oh, good morning. Slept like a log. Woke up at, I've forgotten now, uh, half seven, I think. It's pretty good. It's noisy in here in the, uh, in the early morning. I did stir early and got out and had a wee, but uh, I went straight back to sleep again. And you had a lie in, didn't you, Tink? She was asleep until just now. Curled up in her sleeping bag. Breakfast time, I think. Well, you probably wanted your coat off. There you go. That's a good girl. I've got boiled eggs for me. But I bought an extra couple. So I thought maybe you'd like one for breakfast. Where's your bowl? Oh, don't knock it over. Back up. Breakfast is ready. <sighs> and what's on the agenda today? I don't know, but That's how much water I've got. So we definitely need to find a river. Hear that? Yeah, so water's priority. Yeah, so I'm going to drink my coffee and have a little tidy up around camp. I might just kind of pack my sleeping bag away a little bit. I'll pack it away roughly and just move everything in from the edges. If it does rain while I'm not here, I'll, um, I don't want things to get wet. So yeah, I'm going to have a tidy up and then. We'll head out and look for that river in a minute. Ooh. Well, we're on our way. It's really pretty through here. We've left that forest and we're into a different bit now. Lots of spring flowers about. Yeah just on our way to the river. I think and we have a footpath. She's so funny. 
she uh, runs along almost full speed but with her nose pressed to the floor. Right, then we've got to leave this footpath and head in that direction to find the river. Look at these flowers man, they're beautiful. Bluebells and I don't know what the other ones are, let's have a look. What are the white ones then? They're not snowdrops. I don't know what they are. Someone tell me. I found this little dip in the ground which I'm guessing is where water runs you know down into the river so we're gonna follow this dip if I don't fall over Puh. just cutting through a vast swathe of wild garlic some of them are flowering now which uh, I would I would harvest but I've got no need because I'm now on to uh, ration pack food I think so uh, I don't think that will go very well I found the river though Oh, you want some? <clears throat> Got a uh, a litre now, Gene, of filtered water. I'm just going to fill up my zebra pot to boil. And I'll have tea and stuff with it this afternoon. I'll just have a bit of a wash while I'm here. That's a noise tink. Oh, it feels much better. here for a minute and then trek back. But oh. 
That's nice. Ow! I need to dislocate my shoulder, Tink. Easy girl. Just uh, added a bit more to my bed, give myself a bit more loft for tonight. I did. I did wake up with a slight pain in my hip when I was laying on the ground. So, and I think over time they compressed down. So, I've added another layer, ready for later. I think it's nearly lunchtime. Oh dear. Yeah, I need wood if I'm going to have a fire, cook my lunch. I haven't got any wood left other than my emergency rain wood, but I won't use that. I'll use that tonight. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go collect some wood. Lunch is on. I say biryani rice, and I also brought some frozen chicken wings wrapped up, and they're probably defrosted by now, I would have thought so. I'm going to eat them 
And that is the last of my fresh food. Oh no, I've got a potato. I'll have the potato tonight. I'll have the chicken wings now with the rice. And that'll do me for lunch. It's hot in it, Tink. It's actually warming up. It's, it's not a bad day. Just wait for that to cook. I hope my pot hanger doesn't catch light. Ouch. It's pretty hot. Oh, it smells good. Who is it? Indie Grand Chef Selection Biryani Rice. Where did I get this? I got it down when I was. With my mother-in-law's. I can't remember the name of the shop though. Let's have a. Oh, 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 oh. God, that smells good. Look at it. It's uh, rice, potatoes, peas, and spices. Hmm. Well, nice. I'm oh, a big fan of that. I only picked it up on a whim. I didn't plan to bring it here. I just saw it and thought, that looks cool. It was only about a pound. Can you smell it? Mmm. It tastes like proper biryani. That's a surprise. I think these chicken wings. I cooked these the day before yesterday. They were leave it. They were raw. I cooked them in the oven on low to try to not get much colour on them, and then I cooled them down and froze them. And I got them out of the freezer yesterday, just as I was leaving the house. So they were still, they were defrosted, but they were still a bit cold when I cooked them here. So hopefully I haven't poisoned myself. I do love a chicken wing. Sit. I can't give Tink these bones because she'd choke on them. Don't dribble on my chicken wings. <laughs> a bit of drool just dripped straight onto my... Oh my God. Stop it. Oi. I don't need any more marinade. Oh, over there. It's over there. I just threw it. Oh my God, you See that? Ready? There. Yeah. I mean, she slobbered on my lunch. Yeah, I have to put those bones in my 
rubbish bag. I've got a rubbish bag hanging from a tree behind me, up out the way. I have to get them in there and hang them as high as I can. Hope she doesn't climb the tree. Sit, sit. Good girl. a bit of the hot water just to clean my hands because it's a sticky business chicken wings that was really nice and I've got a cup of tea oh made out of river water yummy and I've got pudding a bit of flapjack You know, that was probably one of the nicest lunches I've had outside. I know it wasn't much, a thing of rice and some chicken wings, but I can't stress enough, that rice was gorgeous. I gave you a chicken wing. Do you have to stand in the way? Is that your... What? Come here, sit down here. Come on. Come on. Sit your bum. There's a good girl. That's better, isn't it? Oh, this is nice as well. Mmm. Yeah, I'm having a really good time. So peaceful. I had plans to do stuff this afternoon, but I'm just enjoying lounging about. Yeah, I've no idea what the time is. I'm guessing it's about one o'clock, half past one. Yeah, I think I'm just going to drink my tea and have an internal debate about whether to do something or not. So I decided that I would occupy my time with a little bit of little bit of creativity. So we're gonna make ourselves somewhere to sit. These are bits of that tree that was over there that was fallen down.
Nice. Uh, closer. with that. That's pretty comfy. It's nice to rest your back. I've been kneeling down and sitting cross-legged for the last two days and uh, your back tends to get sore. It's nice to be able to rest it. No sign of the rain, they said. But uh, I'm not complaining about that. I had a bit of a panic when I looked at the weather before I left uh, yesterday. Yesterday morning, I um, I looked and it, I think it was 50% chance of rain from about two o'clock, and it, it must be it must be four, maybe going on five o'clock now. I'm, I'm not sure, entirely sure. But uh, yeah, so I so I had a little panic and had to put in waterproofs and stuff, and it made my bag a bit a bit more full than I wanted it. I was trying to I was trying to go reasonably lightweight, but I ended up you have a ton of food for for two days or two and a half days, and um, you know shoving in I shoved in a military poncho and um, my normal rain jacket as well. And it just suddenly it was getting fuller and fuller. So I gave up on the lightweight and ended up putting in luxuries like my grill and things. I wasn't going to bother with any of that. That grill, I think it cost me about £4, £5. And I've used it quite a lot. I've only had it a, a week or two. And um, I've used it every time. And it's so small. It's, what is it? It's, I don't know, two and a half inches by four or five inches, something like that, it's, it's tiny, and um, but it's enough to feed one person, so I'm well happy with that. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's me, I'm, I'm in this chair for the next while. That's what it needs. Needs a headrest. Oh, I wonder. Just thinking of putting on a couple of bigger logs on the back just to rest my head on but I think I'll uh, just leave it as it is. Nice to have my feet up. But yeah, as I was saying, um, it's muggy. It feels like a thunderstorm. It's very calm but uh, yeah, it's sticky. Okay. I think I'm relatively comfortable now. I've got my bed. Tink's got her bed. I've got a fire pit. I've got a chair. The shelter's pretty solid. I've got room under there for wood, which I've put, you know, one fire's worth of wood under there yesterday in case. So, um, yeah, and I've got enough water to last me till tomorrow morning. So I think I'm pretty much settled in. It's, um, as I say, it's a nice place this, really peaceful. <sighs> I say you do get aeroplanes because we're on a flight path from Gatwick going over to France I suppose. But um, yeah, other than that, I haven't seen a soul and it's been really nice. See what I do hear, I heard it yesterday for about an hour, and I can hear it now right in the distance, is um, it sounds like a racing car. And I think I'm not a million miles away from where they film Top Gear, and there's a racetrack there. 
So I wonder if, um, if that's what I'm hearing. When it, when it goes really still, I can just hear the kind of wah noise. I heard it about this time yesterday, I think. I just about hear something. I think sound asleep. She, uh, she had a good old run when we walked to the river and then we stayed down there for a little while. And, um, I was sitting there just having a drink, hydrating myself and then um, she was bombing about, nose to the ground and um, yeah, this afternoon she's curled up on her bed and gone sound asleep. I wandered off getting the bits for this and uh, I went quite far to get one of them. I was just looking for a straight piece of wood and um, all of a sudden she ran up behind me I'd left her behind. But, uh, I come back and started building it. She went back to bed. So I think I've worn her out. I'm sure she'll wake up the minute I start cooking. I'm going to light the fire and then give Tink her dinner. A bit more of fire cord. This is a different one. I bought a, a length of it the other day. This one's not red inside. It's it's clear. Well, it's white, but it's still waxy. So see if it see if it does anything. One sort of came apart. This one, it's a lot more sticky. Yeah, for those that don't know, fire cord is it's 550 paracord. It starts life, you know, looking like normal paracord with the strands, but the middle strand is sort of wax infused. Really flammable. You just have to pull it apart a little bit before you throw a spark at it. Let's see, this is a new, uh, I bought a sort of hank of it, you know, and I just cut off, I don't know, about a metre or so, maybe a bit more, and tied it to the outside of my bag so it's always on there should the need arise, but I haven't tried this one. The last one I had had a red middle. This one's plain, plain coloured. So I thought well, maybe I should give it a go. I'll just put that on there. Yeah. Works pretty cool. So I've got a potato left, a little bit of butter, and then I've got a uh, ration pack type um, chilli. So jacket potato and chilli sounds like it could be tasty. Put a few holes in this so that the heat can get in it, because it's going to take a while to cook this. in the middle for now. Just let it get some heat. A bit of a lie down this afternoon and uh, I heard a noise just out here and I sat up very slowly and there was a deer, I don't know, 
five meters away. Tink was sound asleep and she suddenly decided she could smell it and she was up. I'm just going to give my knife a bit of TLC because I've been uh, beating it up a little bit over this trip. I've had this knife for coming up three years now, I think. It's a Gerber. It's got the uh, <laughs> it's got the controversial figure on it of uh, Bear Grylls, but um, it's a good all-round knife. It must be said. I mean, there's gimmicky stuff on here. You know, the, this signal stuff, you know, it's a bit unnecessary. The whistle, I suppose if you were really in a pinch, it might come in handy. The fire steel on there. I don't use this anymore, but I have it as my backup in case I lose my main one. It's always handy to have a backup. But, you know, it's a, it's a heavy duty knife. But yeah, what I do like though is the um, it's the kind of hidden, you know, so this is supposed to be diamond, but um, it's a sharpening, it's a sharpening tool of some kind that's, you know, built into the knife, or built into the scabbard, and um, that's a nice touch, because I see people carry, you know, knife sharpening kits with them and stuff. And um, you know, I don't. I've got a, I've got a little uh, pointy bit that, that sharpens the um, serrated part of this blade, which I'm not a big fan of. The serrated bit. I think I'd prefer a straight blade, but it does mean. I think the serrated bit does mean that. You know, when it's a bit dull and it's not cutting very well, the serrated bit. You know, that just tears through stuff. So that's quite cool. It's not let me down yet. I say three years of proper use. It's not bad. The thing I like about it, because I've held, you know, I think John's got a jackalaw. Uh, I think Lee's got something, oh, I've forgotten the name of it, but they're sort of, you know, credible bush knives, as it were. And I, I still prefer the handle on this. It's this sort of rubberized handle. I really like that because when I, uh, you know, when I've been using it and it's a bit wet and stuff, you still got a good grip. And I worry that the, the wooden handled knives, you know, that, that they might be a bit slippery in uh, in wet conditions. But each to their own. One day I'll get an expensive, lovely knife, but. Uh, When I got some money, maybe. Too many other things take priority. I need a new bag. That's probably next on my list of things I want. Um, but yeah, I see. It's all right. This one. It's all right. It's uh, it's done me. It's done me f good. You know, for for three years. So. I've had my money's worth. I'm tired now. I said I walked this morning, bits of work around camp and stuff. And I feel like an early night's in order tonight. I eat my food and then crawl into my pit, I think. You're up, are you, Tink? You're up and with us. Uh, 
going to give her a bit more food tonight because I doubt she'll get much of mine because it's uh, chilly in a bag. So we'll start with biscuits. Put them over there so you don't knock them in the fire. some of this in there. Alright, alright. Oh, this stuff stinks. Uh, uh, I touched it. <laughs> I touched it. Got room for more. That is such a pig tink. Few more biscuits. Okay. Save them for breakfast. Oh, you map it. You knocked it over. Chili con carne. Done. Wow. She's hot. And a bit of butter and a bit of salt and pepper. Pretty good. A bit of this first, and then we'll try the chili. be a first for me. I've never tried the Wayfarer chili. I've had the, uh, the curry and that's okay. <laughs> Smells like chili. Looks pretty disgusting. <laughs> oh and it's hot. What do you think?
going to burn. Oh. Tastes like chilli. Only not as good. What doing? Oh, precious. You're all right. I gave you biscuits and dog food. I did. You still want chilli, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. And I want sausages. <laughs> oh, God, it's hot. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I've eaten pretty well these last couple of days, must be said. I hate being hungry, so I usually bring extra food in case. And uh, this was no exception. I've got two sashes of porridge, I've got an all-day breakfast, and I've got a pudding in there, one of them Wayfarer toffee sponges, but I don't know if I'll eat it. I'll have one of the porridge for breakfast. That'd probably do me. Yeah, I've definitely had better chilies. You want some sausages? Not the best meal ever, but <coughs> certainly not the worst. Well, it's just started to rain, so I've stacked the fire up a bit and retreated to my house. But, uh, yeah, done all I need to do. I've cooked, I've eaten, so uh, it can do what it likes and I'll just hide in here for the rest of the evening, I think. It's about quarter past eight now, so... Um, I don't suppose I'll be up too much longer because I'm really tired. All this outdoor fresh air making me sleepy. I've got beer somewhere. Where is it? There it is. So I'll go finish my beer and just doss about. I'll probably go to bed within the hour. I brought everything in that doesn't want to get wet. So we're good. We're all tucked up. I think it's about half nine, quarter to ten. And I'm tired. So I'm going to get my head down. Tink's already got her head down. We'll see you in the morning.
It's cold out there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh that's better. Uh oh, got an incoming dog. Come then. Hello, hello. Ah, uh, being attacked. I'm being attacked. Don't hit. <laughs> <laughs> I sit down, sit down. Hips. Good girl. Thank you. All right now. You right now. Excuse me. Got this old dog. She gone now. Where'd you go? <laughs> How'd you sleep, Tink? How'd you sleep, Tink? Now, all I need is some coffee. If only you could make coffee, Tink, and you know, I could stay in my sleeping bag. You could make the coffee. Oh. Mm. I, think I, might. I think I might just lay here for a little while longer. Is it, what is it? It's my hand. Eh? Put your duvet back on. Our coffee's on. Just a little small fire, so I'm leaving today, so just burning some twigs, enough to boil the water. And warm me up, of course. Oi, ay, ay. It's chilly this morning outside of my sleeping bag. Tink's had her breakfast. I've dug my morning hole. Just gonna have a bit of brekkie. A little bit of pack up. Oh, glorious. Mm. 
Well, we're about there, I think. I'm just going to pack up in a minute, dismantle my shelter, and uh, take myself off home. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. A bit of a monster video, this one. If you got all the way to the end, I salute you. It's been really fun. This is a beautiful forest. Other than the aeroplanes flying over, I haven't heard any other unnatural sounds. Oh, and then them race cars on the wind. But uh, other than that, it's been very peaceful. I've seen two deer. One that I said about yesterday that walked past just outside when I was laying in there. And the second one this morning, I went that way for a, uh, a wander with my uh, shovel and my toilet roll. And um, yeah, I disturbed one that was sitting in the bracken. There's a little clearing through there. And there's some bracken. And it was, uh, it was standing in that and it bolted when it saw me. So um, yeah, the wildlife haven't minded me being here. And I know I've, you know, dug a fire pit and used little bits and pieces of trees and stuff, but I think at some point the forestry will come in here and chop all this down anyway, as they've been doing to loads of uh, forests around where I am. There seems to be carnage everywhere. So I'm not worried about using the odd branch here and there given that the whole lot will be massacred at some point in the next year but it will regrow that's the whole point of it uh, yeah I can eat my breakfast and then pack my stuff up and I'll see you and you'll see them very soon. You enjoyed yourself, Tink? You've enjoyed yourself, haven't you? You've been snuffling about, sniffing everything. Yeah, have a good day, we'll see you soon.